And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Aphelios. It's been a long time since we've played an Aphelios deck. We've been playing against Aphelios a whole bunch over the last few days, but we haven't actually played Aphelios in what seems like maybe close to two weeks now, <laughs> you know, with that uh, snowpocalypse that... Um, you know, had me not play for a week. So let's go ahead and play an Aphelios deck. We're going to be um, playing Aphelios with Victor today. That's our first donation deck of the day. We got four donation decks to play today. So four viewer submitted decks. This one is building, um, you know, the best Victor Aphelios deck that we can. Lots of good removal and um, good amount of card advantage. I think this deck should, should do pretty good. Um, I really like Gifts Beyond a whole bunch in Aphelios decks. I think Gifts gifts from beyond is honestly a, a really solid card the moon weapons are just really good and so having that that selection even though you're spending four mana for a moon weapon like with the the two spells together you get the nice selection of of you know like what do you need for um the specific game plus it's two spells if you have the veiled temple out there or you know an aphelios out there for getting the two spells but just another like more ways to get moon weapons just levels up your aphelios faster which is going to be pretty nice. Um, we have some, some protection for our two champions, Aphelios and Victor. We have a couple of Sunblessed Vigors and um, one Bastion, one Astral Protection. I'm not sure if Bastion is just better than Astral Protection, if we should just be playing two Bastions and zero Astral Protection. I thought that Astral Protection could be kind of good against like these Boxtopus running around with their challengers and stuff, like getting that plus zero, plus four is really nice. Or if you have like a, a Victor or Aphelios that's taken some damage already, you can you can have the heal first. Um, plus, if you do like the plus zero plus four on an Aphelios uh, to serve to have it survive from a Boxtopus, yes, it'll it'll be damaged at that point. But then you have you know then we're playing like three Star Shapings, right? So we can re so having that extra health that then we can reheal with Star Shaping can be kind of nice too. Um, but good good removal, gotcha. Is it, like just dealing three damage is important right now for killing Aphelios. So we're playing two gotchas, three aftershocks, um, one to try to kill Aphelios, one sunburst in here. Again, try to kill Aphelios. Um, so those those kind of cards are, are pretty important, doing three damage. That's why we only have two mystic shots, because um, you got to be doing three damage these days. I think Ballistic Bot's going to be the two drop that we're going to want to get most of the time from our Crescendums. Um, so we're gonna have three ballistic bot, but we don't want to just run out of two drops. So we got a mountain goat in here for a fourth two drop, um, and that's kind of about it. Um, I could see this deck not playing hush. I could see us playing like another sunburst, like instead of hush, and you know something else like another goat or something. But let's give it a try, Victor Aphelios. See whether we would win or lose. Okay, Aphelios mirror to start with. So we'll see how Victor does. Victor is a, a good, strong champion, but um, Victor is pretty weak to Hush. And these Aphelios decks that most people are playing, most people are playing three Hush right now. And so that's a pretty bad sign for Victor. Um, but there's just not much that we can really do about that. That's just kind of how it is. Victor's just going to be a little weak to Hush. No more hiding. Hmm. Not the best time to draw Gacha. Wish we would draw Gacha next turn. You leave me no recourse. <sighs> also, Ballistic Bot doesn't match up against Boxtopus. So, like, their, their two drop matches up a lot better than our two drop. So there's a couple of small little things that don't match up the best for us. So yeah, I'm just going to end turn. Yeah, they're going to go get the Challenger. As darkness falls, the moon rises. Yeah, so that's that's pretty rough. So like they're going to go get 3-4 Challenger. So I want to play Aphelios as well. But they get 3-4 Challenger. So I guess I, I guess I grab Stun Card. Hey, Cabo. Good afternoon. Doing good. Playing our first Aphelios deck in like two weeks. Thank you. 
Hyper Potion with the Twitch Prime sub. Our first sub of the day. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our first sub. Thank you, Hyper Potion. Yeah, unfortunately, Box Plus is pretty rough. So I, if I double spell, I make, if I go bot, bot, we make a moon weapon, or I just play Victor and get Victor in play. I guess I want to make the moon weapon. And the Avail Temple. Good hand. Good hand. So that's going to put the third Ballistic Bot into play. But with them, with them having Veil Temple and that extra mana, Deal me in. it's not so good. Okay. Okay. I think I attack. Yes, we attack. So I want them to play like other things to be able to block with. Oh, you're a slow spell. Right. Calibrum slow. Well, okay, never mind. Attack wasn't so great. I was planning on like attacking the Calibrum during combat. <laughs> it's been it's been a minute since I played Aphelios. Right. Well, that's not as good. Yeah, this this was this was a really bad idea by me. Um, yeah, this did not work out. Now I actually trade bot for. I don't want to make this trade. This was bad. Yeah, this was really bad. Okay, well that was that was a bad idea. My 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 bad. I didn't realize that this was um slow. I for, I just forgot about that. First first game of the day. Mess that up. Yeah, I should have just sat back and cast Calibrum and cast these ignitions and leveled up the victor. Good news is there Aphelios is dead now. Um, bad news is we have already lost this game. So, that's kind of bad. Yeah, I just lost this game. Keep up, keep up. So I don't I don't want to aftershock the twisted fate right now because because it's you know pretty easy to um, protect twisted fate. I want to have like aftershock and hush together. Cool, that's a good one to get to get. Alright, so now I have Hush available also. If they, you know, have some blessed figure and that kind of stuff. Just like two spells and buff it up with some blessed this uh Bell Temple. Or 
forced us to choose death or the flame. Maybe spell shield again? Go back to spell shield. I'm still pretty far behind. Like, I'm still very likely to lose this game. Um, you know, because they, they have a great... You know, they still have the, the two Veil Temples, more cards, and the great uh, Celestial card. While I have... Basically nothing. Bask in her radiant blessing. Yes, of course. And of decor of Okay, here's some school. Yeah, that's bad. GG's. I lost this with the, the Ballistic Bot attack. I lost this game with that. Who knows if I don't make that attack. Maybe this game's a lot different. But, you know, first, first game of the day. Good warm-up game. Their hand was very good. We made Top Tech uh, in Aphelios. It <clears throat> already has Overwhelm Fearsome. All these cards are useful, like, I just don't really have anything to do the first three turns, but these are all pretty useful cards. Um, you know, like Hush getting, you know, like Hush on a Fizz is really nice. And Star Shaping, because, like, they're, they're going to be having all the elusives and Nexus damage, so Star Shaping with that. It's just, like, those are nice later on in the game. Uh, no, okay, so yeah, you uh, think a Stony plus Radiant Guardian deck? Yeah, I'm I'm all for that. Stony Suppressor to make these moon weapons cost a little bit more mana. What would, what else would you have in, like, the Stony, like, what would be your other region, do you think, for, um, you know, a Stony Suppressor Radiant Guardian deck? So if I go Gifts, Aphelios, that's five mana, so that's one extra mana, so next turn I would have five total, so I'd be able to play, like, two Moon Weapons, or, like, a Victor. Hmm. Maybe I'll just play this thing, actually. This is a tough call. I like both Meteor Shower and Golden Sister. It's definitely one of these two. I like them both. It's Golden Sister. Okay, so they discarded stress testing. It's 
Oh, what did they discard here? A Terrative Improvement? And something. They had to discard something else. Alright, hopefully elusive. Fury. So I think I'm going to cast this Death Ray, kill a 1-1, because I, I think I do want to draw, you know, like MK2, like with, you know, like how this is. Like, I want to draw MK2. So let's, let's get this into the deck as soon as possible. If only our deck could just play like Boxtopus instead of. I know like Ballistic Bot obviously works really great with Victor, but it'd be nice having a challenger. Wow. Not even gold card. Yeah, I was expecting gold card there, but I guess not. Okay. So I could go gold, you know, so I could go golden sister plus Severum. Which isn't a bad turn. Or alternatively, I go like Severum, Hexcore upgrade, Death Ray, and you know, get another get another one, get like the stun card. This gets the stun, right? Yeah, so I get the stun. So I stun this. So that's two, four, six, seven. Yeah, for our eight mana, that'd be seven of our eight, eight mana, and that'd be two moon weapons cast. I think I'm going to do that. Oh. We'll just get lifesteal like that. Just discard two Mystic Shots. Wow, double Rummage. So now I guess my my MK doesn't kill Twisted Fate anymore. Wow, double Rummage. Uh, do I have five mana? Okay, uh, no. Oh, Hush doesn't keep... Hush doesn't put that back to being a 2-2. Two -two. So they have the Poro Cannon's the one card that stops my death rate if I hit if I target Fizz. I can target the the Zap Spray Fin and then it you know we're definitely safe. But I I think I want to just target the Fizz. Um, Poro Cannon would be a pretty big blowout. I think it's worth it. They only have three cards. They've already played one Poro Cannon. Cool. And I'm doing that right now to get the extra point of damage on here. I 
I like drawing this other death ray. That could be good against Burble Fish. So moon weapons could cause zero mana with these two, right? If we if we level up Aphelios and you have this leveled up Victor, like the Aphelios says they, they cost one, and then this says they cost one less because they're created cards. So we can have zero mana. Cool, I like the regen for the gold card. We can have zero mana moon weapons. This isn't even a Victor. This is just Victor's champion spell. This isn't even a created card. Oh, it's a created card because... So this Victor was what we created with the death ray. Like, whenever we cast our first death ray and put a Victor into our deck, that was this Victor that we put into our deck. Yeah, I guess that happens. That's too bad. I can just play another Victor. That's too bad. You know, like, that Victor, of course, was awesome. I don't really need to worry about my life total that much, because I, I just get to heal it all back with the Infernum anyway, so I think I'm just going to take all this. We should have this game. I guess that is a lot of cards they just drew over there, though. Never mind. Maybe we don't have this game. Um. I'm going to try to kill this. Twisted Fate. Cool. I'll be right back. Yes, of course. All right, so that levels up Aphelios. So now our moon weapons cost zero. Should I have just made it a moon weapon there? Wasn't that my second one? My second card? Oh, no, 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 because I played the other two cards already, so. All right, well. I played the two the two cards, like, whenever I played Kill the Twisted Fate. I don't think they're playing Hush. Um. Yes, I guess it's better just to give the Aphelios Overwhelm, isn't it? Just have two Overwhelm bodies. All right, there we go. Zero mana moon weapons, because they they aren't good enough originally. No, a hush deck. <laughs> I liked not playing against hush. Last game, that was fun. Not bad. I can definitely see Sunburst being very important to killing like a Leona. 
something like that. Maybe they have like a five mana dragon that's gonna do some challenging, or um, a Robin. Anything like that. Well, this is pretty nice. I can play Gem, then Nightfall Aphelios next turn. If I do that, I'm not playing Victor for a little while. Yeah, always, always turn one gotcha. I have two Hushes in my deck. Yes, but I was saying that it was nice that my opponent did not have Hush. Honestly, I should maybe get into the stun card. Maybe. But I'm getting uh, Ballistic Bot. Yeah, we, we have our first Aphelios deck in like two weeks. I made a bad mistake with Aphelios the first game, forgetting that moon weapons are slow. Of course, playing the second spell to be able to get the, the next moon weapon. Gifts from the sky. And I could just block that with my 4-1. I don't really care that they heal their Nexus some. Why not heal the goat? Basically because... I didn't really want Goat to just be a 5-2, right? Like I wanted to I wanted to split the power up. Um, there's not really much difference between 1 health and 2 health against Targon, Demacia. If I play Victor, I don't get to play two other moon weapons this turn. But I can go Victor and then stun and then um, hex core upgrade. And that would, that would leave Aphelios at three out of four, Victor at. I guess that would level up Victor, right? That would be seven out of seven. So then I would also be able to play Ignition. My worst case scenario right now is single combat, killing my Aphelios. Um, I could, if I don't play other stuff, I can I could save it with Spell Thief, Sharp Sight. But I kind of want to play other stuff. Yeah, I, ho I hope they don't have single combat, just for a turn. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's really greedy of me to play other stuff here. Maybe I just need to keep this available because of how good Aphelios is. Maybe maybe I need to just maybe I just can't play these other cards. Oh man! All right. All right. I'm gonna be greedy. Okay. Good. Why did I why did I not lead with the, the Gravitum? I need to. Because now I don't create another moon weapon. Hmm. That was a mistake by me. Uh, but we'll have that for next turn. Alright, we'll just have that for next turn. Everything's fine. What keyword did I get? I didn't even notice. I was looking at my hand. 
Fury. Whoops. Ours is the one true light. I am the bulwark against darkness. Sure. Can you improve perfection? So I need to play the Gravitum. My next my next card's gonna be the Gravitum. There's just I just don't really want to stun any of these things yet. Because I'm I'm scared of bigger stuff from them, but now I'm definitely playing Gravitum for my next card. That'll be the third moon weapon. So kind of no matter what they're what they do. Okay, so now we'll have zero mana moon weapons moving forward. I do need to get one more card out of my hand. Oh gosh, when you level up Aphelios, oh I forgot that that starts over and you can make another one. Man, this thing's crazy. Man, Aphelios is ridiculous. Mm. Hmm. Um, how do we want to do this? So like the problem with the gotcha, and this is this is honestly like really greedy by me, because again, if they have a second single combat, they can they can still you know like they or like another way to challenge, um, you know they'd be able to kill the Aphelios. Because I I feel like I'm supposed to keep three. Oh no no no, because this is only two mana. Yes. Okay. Never mind. I'm keeping sharp side up. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Um, which I'm just gonna do this now. Or no, we'll wait. Because I wanted to, I want to make sure to keep Spell Thief plus Sharp Sight available to be able to protect. But I guess we don't have to do that. Alright, so they're going to stun something. If I don't sunburst, they stun something. It's probably fine. Yeah, it's fine. They, they can stun one thing. That's fine. This is a pretty crazy combination. Yeah, I can play around Judgment. We can do that. I don't have to worry too much about Judgment. Alright, so that's going to be 9 damage. I mean, I guess I could. Spend mana on stuff now. Okay. We'll just 
spend mana on stuff, win the game. Rest now, fell. Feel the moonlight's warmth. But hey, there we go. There's Gohard. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Gohard's a tier one deck anymore, but it's still still playable. Definitely still playable. Uh, don't need Hush, and. If I go bot on two, and then ignition Aphelios on three, like basically, do I want to keep this gifts from beyond? It'll be a little while before I use it, um, but you know, it would it will help level up Aphelios faster? Probably use gifts to get another bot. Then I have this moon weapon already. Let's I'll send it back. I could see a pack your bags like messing me up pretty bad, right? Like I, my game plan is just to like sit back and accrue value with creating cards turn after turn, um, and so like if they just you know go wide, pack your bags. Like I could definitely see me losing this. Go hard in general, right? Because like we we have like ballistic bot trade with these things, then go hard kills our stuff. Ooh, Veil Temple. Veil Temple's a real card. Um, but I guess I don't play Veil Temple yet. I don't know. Because I can, I can go like bot bot, or I just play Veil Temple and then next turn bot bot. Yeah, I guess I go Vil Temple. Predictable. Yeah, Temple just makes makes next turn. You know, playing Temple this turn just makes next turn a lot better. Okay. So that means I'm probably going to play the Aftershock to kill this Twisted Fate. Instead of, so that's instead of playing this Ballistic Bond. Oh, I can't. Oh, I don't have the mana for Crescendum plus Aftershock, actually. So I have to... So yeah, actually, if I play Aftershock, I don't get to play a second spell. So I have to wait till next turn to play Aftershock. So I guess the best play is Victor, Hexcore Upgrade, Crescendum... Or I go bot, crescendum, then I have three mana, but then what am I doing with three mana? Not a whole lot. The future is steel and science. This is the my best use of mana. But I the the thing about this line is it's not very good at, at uh, getting me more moon weapons. But it's my best use of mana. New cards look really fun. I like how the new cards look. Ooh, Challenger. Yeah, I could have gone Priestess, Crescendum, and then Calibrum. That wasn't a bad line either. That would have had me cast an additional Moon Weapon this turn. does kind of make my this does make my victor vulnerable but it's it's just always good to kill twisted fate if you can but you know at two health uh, victor's kind of vulnerable I 
Not a bad draw. So this turn we're going to have Moon Weapon, Moon Weapon. Or, I mean, uh, Gotcha, sorry. Gotcha, Hux Core Upgrade, Moon Weapon. Let's see, do I play Do I play this bot first? I kind of don't really want to play more maybe I play the priestess actually. Priestess blocks Dreadway Deckhand over here. Let's do that. I could get another Aphelios, which could be important. So now I'm gonna have Gotcha plus Moon Weapon. So we go into 10. Hopefully 10's okay. Um, I'm probably going to get like Infernum pretty soon. And, you know, we have this star shaping. Phelios decks aren't like the easiest things to play when you have, you know, infinite cards, basically. Finding the exact decisions that you want to do. Once I stamp papers, now faces. So that's go hard number two. Seven mana now. Can I? Why am I not ever finding? I'm never finding this lifesteal one, the one that I wanted. I must have, like, just passed over the Severum whenever I took the Gravitum. I guess I, I thought, it, I just, you know, I just, like, misread it. Like, whenever, I just took the Gravitum, but I, so I had the choice of, like, either the, the Severum or the Gravitum. But I thought my choice was Gravitum or, like, the Overwhelm or the Stun. So I, I, I mischose, like, I didn't, I shouldn't have taken the, the Gravitum. The stun. I should have taken the life steal previously, and so now I'm kind of wasting this because I made the incorrect choice. Um, but I I just misread it, I guess. I didn't think I I didn't think I had the life steal as a choice. That's good for me to see. Glimpse beyond was really what I did not want to see. Them not having Glimpse Beyond is good. Oh, and Mystic Shot's nice, too. Well, I 
<laughs> University of Piltover with Victor. That could be pretty cool. Excuse me. A lot of people play Ledros in these kind of decks, and that's why I'm kind of wanting to save this Sunburst for a Ledros. Potential Ledros. Um, Calibrum or Cassandra? Trying to keep this Aphelios nice and healed. Yeah, they're just passing me. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, they don't even have the banana for packer bags anyway, even if they had packer bags. Yay, Victor. Alright, Victor leveled up. I should have just played this first. Because, of course, we want to get moon weapons out of our hand, so we create more moon weapons. And I would rather... I'd, I'm not going to play the Ignition. I'd rather have the one extra mana for next turn than the Ignition. Okay. I mean, I suppose Ruination could be a card, right? Like, if I Victor and they have Ruination. But I, I do have multiple star shapings. Let's just start with this thing. Okay. What do they have? Pool Shark. Kind of giving them opportunity to see if they have Vengeance and Ruination and stuff like that. And I'm putting it over... I'm putting the Lifesteal over here because if they do have a Vengeance... Um, I don't, you know, if their plan is like Vengeance, Aphelios... And then, you know, we'll still have the Lifesteal thing. I think it's... You know, at this point, Glimpse Beyond has got to be pretty likely, so I don't, I don't even know if like we're actually going to heal our Nexus with this. I Yeah, the question is, do you think Aphelios will be nerfed? I think so. I think that uh, it will be, It's you know, in, in some form or fashion. I don't I don't know if it will be nerfed enough so it's not, not very good or not played very much, you know, because they don't... Usually whenever they nerf cards, they're still, um, still played and everything. Um, you know, like... For example, Hush was like the last card that was nerfed. It still played quite a bit. So they, they definitely have Pack Your Bags. Okay, and they're not willing to cast Pack Your Bags yet. But I do I do expect Aphelios to change somewhat. I think the card as is is too powerful. But it's still it would still probably be good enough to play because of how good it is right now. Okay, so that's that's a win for me. <clears throat> Having a vengeance get wasted on that. They did just burn a vengeance um, with the salvage, also. So that's two vengeance gone. Um, while ruination's still an option, I think that. I think this is okay to play. The future is steel and science. Yes, of course. Yeah, keeping the sunburst for Ledros. If they have a leveled up Twisted Fate, maybe we have to play it, but um, ideally not. Living Legends creates a lot of cards. That is good for Victor, with the credit cards costing one less. It will also net me a mana.
Mm. Calibrum is the damage. I can only play one slow spell at a time. I guess playing the two zero mana cards, I guess I didn't really take advantage of the two mana from the Veil Temple. But I wanted to just make another moon weapon right away. So I guess I should have played Mystic Shot though as my other spell, because then that would have been just the that would have been a zero mana mystic shot. Instead of playing the gem. But of course at, at this point it's unlikely to matter, but that's what I should have done. <laughs> I know what lurks in the shadows. All right, so there. So now, pack your bags could be your next, the last card. Yeah, Kyle says Zoe Felios is too good. Yeah, I could. Zo I think yeah, Zoe Felios are yeah maybe the two best champions. I mean, Twist of Fate's right there too. Like those are definitely the three best champions. Cool. Let's make Victor tough. Why not? Yes, of course. I guess maybe just like the Scourge and Messenger. I guess Moonglow is better than Scourge. Let's Moonglow this thing. Or Mo Moonglow is better than the Messenger, yeah, so then I guess the Scourge. I think our deck goes pretty big. Alright, just open attack. Yeah. Took the thing with the most health. Because now all these have Overwhelm. And there we go. We've already seen them use two Vengeance. So. That'll do. So them. Alright, Aphelio Zoe. Um, Aphelio Zoe. So that's a link to the, the YouTube channel and then like in the youtube channel i have i have like playlists for the different regions so maybe you go to like the shadow isles playlist and kind of browse through the shadow isles decks that that could be a way to make it easier to find hecarim decks okay we're gonna just go ahead and mulligan our hand and get a new one Mystic shot. Shift time. Mystic shot's friend, a mountain goat. No, I didn't. I didn't mean like you play mystic shot. I mean, I wanted to draw mystic shot. Um. Maybe I just take the warrior. I'm taking one of the first two cards. So if next turn, if I play the Veiled Temple next turn, would I want the following turn? You know, I'd have the mana to cast either Falling Comet or the warrior. The problem with the warrior is they they do have both Hush and Stun cards. Um, Falling Comet, they'd have Bastion. What's yeah, we'll try Warrior. But, you know, like, Aphelio stun Warrior is pretty sad. Cool? 
I wonder if they're scared of Hush. Yeah, that's true. If they waste a hush on a on a warrior, that's good for me. Um, in the aggregate, because then they won't have the hush for a victor later. But the problem is, is that this Zoe is leveling up very quickly, and so that's the downside to a hush on a warrior is that I just don't really have the time um, for later if this Zoe levels up. We're in a lot of trouble. So playing Gacha plus Aphelios, because that lets me double spell for the Veil Temple. And then we'll go get the 3 damage to a unit and just kill their Ballistic Bot. <laughs> nice, Sam. Alright, got another Aphelios. Doesn't really matter which one we choose, because we don't have an Aphelios in play. So what do I do this turn? Like, just Warrior plus Pale Cascade? <laughs> to get two spells for Veil Temple? Um... I could, yeah, I mean, maybe I just play Warrior and then Pale Cascade. I'd just, you know, basically cycle and give the Warrior a permanent plus one, plus one, and just draw, you know, it'd be turning Pale Cascade into zero mana, draw a card, plus give Warrior a permanent plus one, plus one. Um, yeah. That's too bad. I liked my Veil Temple. Man, I am not getting things to play before Aphelios. I'm getting my I'm drawing my all my top end. So I guess I just go star shaping then Aphelios, but then I don't get to play the moon weapon. Or have like Bastion to protect. I don't love open attack. I mean, it's just challenging a 2-1, and that 2-1 just doesn't matter. So I, I'd rather... By not... I'm just... I'm not going to be attacking. By not attacking, I'm not allowing them to play an Aphelios or a Zoe. Like, if I attack, then they get to play Aphelios or Zoe, and then I have to wait, like, a couple of turns before being able to attack it, and they get, like, the Aphelios stun card. All sorts of bad things happen. Um... I don't know. These are both... These are all pretty good. I'm not taking Immortal Fire. It's either Destroyer or Cosmic Rays. Um, I guess Destroyer. I'm doing good today, Moonlight. Hope you're having a good day as well. Alright, this time we'll get the grab a two-drop card, but... Maybe I need to be waiting and having Bastion available. I think I have to pass. I think it's just too likely that this priest has grabbed a removal spell. Ugh. Uh, did they just draw that off of the Sump Dredger? Yuck. But we still have more threats. We still have this destroyer plus another good threat from star shaping. Bask in her 
I don't have any thermos. No. They they have played two thermos. My opponent has so far this game. I'm playing like gotcha instead of thermo. I mean the gotcha was was good. We drew it. Had a good time for the Zoe. Alright, so they have five cards, including a super cool star chart. I have five cards as well. I like I like our board more than their board, and we have uh, same amount of cards in hand, so we're not doing too bad. That's probably not a good block. Wow. Well, I liked I liked everything just a little bit ago. Everything was a lot better before that. Maybe looking for Equinox, possibly. Or Stun Card. What once was two, now is one. Believe or burn. Have faith. Strike quickly, strike boldly. Okay, good draw. It's gonna be difficult to win this game. Um, I don't know if I could take like an entire turn to play Great Beyond or the Scourge, honestly. We're still dead? Right. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay. I'm just dead. So that last game, I, I needed to play my Aphelios is a little slower that last game. I, I played both of them. Like, I, I did have just an awkward hand with, like, my expensive cards, but I, I really needed to... Like, both Aphelios, especially the second one. The second one was really the one that was a, a poor play by me of, of uh, playing it whenever I did not have Bastion available. They only had three mana, so they had to have another Thermogenic Beam or a Get Excited, and they did it, but I still could have waited. I could have been more patient with that. Um, that was that's that was the big mistake. Whenever I, you know, like, I have Bastion in hand, I just can't play Aphelios without having protection, and, and I uh, it really cost me, and um, they, did, they did a good job. They drew well. Um... I wish I would have, uh, or you know, like they, you know, they had the multiple Solari Priestess and everything. You know, the turn one Zoe got all those, got a good amount of value and stuff, and they got ahead. Um, yeah, so I needed to do a better job protecting Aphelios. Um, so that happens, but um, I have to say that even though Victor, okay, so playing these games, um, you know, so I could have put myself in a lot better position to win that game, but it's, yeah, you know, like it's, it is what it is. Um, playing these games, I have to say that I was pretty impressed by Victor. I wasn't, I wasn't sure how good Victor would be with, um, with how it is weak to Hush and, and everybody playing Hush these days. But, um, it did play, it did play really well. And I really liked how it was very easy to level up Victor since we were playing all these moon weapons and like with the gifts from Beyonds also making moon weapons. Um, we did have a lot of created cards with those two, and so it was very easy to level up Victor, and then leveled up Victor and leveled up Aphelios worked really well together, because we were also focused on leveling up Aphelios as fast as possible with the gifts from beyond. So I think that those um, were a really nice combination. The card that I actually really didn't 
one one card like as far as I, I liked basically everything in the deck but actually the card that really didn't matter was hush right like we actually didn't really need this hush um too much i mean it it helped us kill a twisted fate one time but for the most part i think that maybe we'd only need like one copy and then just like another another copy of something else like maybe another veil temple because uh, you know that card's always awesome maybe another um like maybe just play like a third mystic shot instead of the hush uh, there was times like where it would have been nice to have another mystic shot for all these twisted fates and then zoe's and stuff like that um you know, maybe something, maybe something like one of those two um, instead. But especially since we're playing like the Sunburst also, and I, I did like the Sunburst. I thought the Sunburst was pretty good. Um, but, but yeah, so that's that's our that's our deck, and it looked it looked really strong. I liked it quite a bit. Um, so there we go. If you want to play a Victor deck, this is probably this is probably the strongest way to play Victor. Is you know pairing it with the best champion with Aphelios. Um, I think Gifts from Beyond is a, is a really underrated card. I liked having all three copies of those. But it's not an easy one to play, as you saw, like, these games. You know, this was an hour and a half for five games. You're going to be playing incredibly long games, and you're going to have a ton of decisions. And sometimes you don't make the, the correct ones. Like, that that game five, um, I think that I, I could have done some, some different things to uh, win that game. But you're going to have all sorts of cards, all sorts of decisions, and so the games are going to be in your hands. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Victor Aphelios, and I'll see you for the next video.